this was an interesting one, Kevin, right? They're on first take, and I know we know that these shows are going to draw this type of heat debate. But in this case, Kevin, and I'll play the clip and I'll go right to you. Joe Fordenbaugh made a claim here that made Kimberly Martin's jaw drop talking about comparing the Baltimore Ravens and Lamar Jackson to a specific NBA team. Let's I'll play that for you guys right now. It's coming from within. Absolutely. If the pressure comes from the Baltimore fan base, sure. I don't see it though. I don't think there's all that much pressure. I think people now understand who he is and who <gasps> they are. If you're a Philadelphia 76ers fan, you know what I'm talking about. Like the Ooh. Ravens are the Sixers <gasps> of the NFL, of the NBA. And Jackson, explain that. You analogy. need to explain, explain okay. that analogy. So last year, let's yeah. go back to last year, right? Todd Monken comes in as okay. an offensive coordinator. Mm -hmm. Everyone's excited. Roman's out. It's not going to be tight end running back heavy. We're going to lean more on the wide receivers. We draft Zay Flowers. Yes. We bring in Odell Beckham. Everyone's very excited. Everyone's picking them, right? Mm -hmm. Pressure's building. And then pop, they deflate. Lamar specifically in the Kansas City game. Yeah. This year, who's picking them? No one's picking them. Who, who have you talked to that's picking them to win the AFC? Who's picking them to win the Super Bowl? The, the guys who's I was picking just them on to win with. the division? Most people are going to go with Joe Burrow. <laughs> Vegas is going to go with Joe Burrow. That's just one spot. Mm -hmm. One spot. I okay, we're going to take that off now. So I just had, we had, you saw the reactions. And I think that that's a bold claim. And I understand they're trying to make the comparison here, Kevin, because the 76ers, they look, you got one of the best players in Joel Embiid, and they've underperformed. But I think it's it's very different where we talked about this Lamar Jackson conversation with Stephen A. Smith and the criticisms. Lamar Jackson has won two MVPs. The only quarterbacks that have won Super Bowls in the last six seasons, Matthew Stafford, Patrick Mahomes, and Tom Brady. So, is this a fair comparison? I know where you're going to go with this, but I'm curious, Kev. Take it away. Well, I mean, compared to the Ravens and the Sixers, if we're talking about that comparison, no. If, if you watch the NBA and you pay attention to the NBA, the whole narrative around Joel Embiid and the 76ers is, well, Embiid can't make the conference finals. And so, if we're comparing star player and star player, Ravens, 76ers, Lamar Jackson, Joel Embiid, the whole conversation around the Sixers is, oh, this thing happened before Joel Embiid could make the conference finals. And this Lamar made the conference finals equivalent, the AFC championship game, this year. If he had lost to the Texans coming off of that bye and it was such a disappointing effort, I'm sure those conversations will be loud. You know, we, we hear all these NBA NFL comparisons. We hear, oh, the Ravens are just the, the James Harden Rockets. And like, mm -hmm. they only have a specific ceiling. But then you kind of take, these comments deeper about well who's picking them who's picking them and this is, it goes back to cincinnati it always goes back to cincinnati where i just i don't know where it comes from I, I i do not know where it comes from with cincinnati yes they made the super bowl a couple years ago you can't throw that out the window but we're talking about a team in Baltimore who we know, we all know what happened in that championship game. We know mm -hmm. that the Ravens abandoned their identity. We know that Lamar didn't show up when he needed to. We know that was a joint loss effort, Lamar included. But we're talking about a team that was the most dominant team we've seen in the regular season. The defense was incredible. They lost a lot of guys. But in terms of like nobody's picking them, yeah, the favorite of the Chiefs, and they should be. And the 49ers, they're up there with them. But this is what we were saying with the last, you know, Stephen A conversation. The Ravens lost guys like Patrick Queen and Geno Stone and Jadavian Clowney and Kevin Zeitler, et cetera. They're being talked about like they lost Roquan Smith and Kyle Hamilton and Zay Flowers and Mark Andrews and everybody. And that it's it's it 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 seems like we have another conversation. By the way, Lamar doesn't get criticism, right? Yeah, no, the, the team does. And we're again, it's if you don't want to say that the or the Orioles, Ravens are favorites, that's fine. I mean, and right, the Chiefs should be the favorites. I still and you want to say the Bengals? They know how to win some games in the playoffs. I'm cool with that. But the Ravens have accomplished a lot more than in my comparison with this. And I want to get Zach and Rocco here real quickly before our guest comes on. But the Sixers truly haven't. There's there's a, so much that Philadelphia in that case. It, I understand that it's, a, it's just a stretch to me. It's a stretch for how dominant that the Ravens have been. Yeah, they had some moments, but it's not like... I don't even know. I look at this for the 76ers. I don't think that that they've been considered a real threat over the time, but I, I don't I don't know. I, I like their talent, but there's always something that holds them back. And maybe that's the point that he's trying to make, Zach, that there's always 
something that stops the Ravens. Yeah, I forget his name. Was it Joe something? Joe Fordenbaugh. Yes, Joseph. Uh, you're wrong. Uh, he said Vegas isn't picking the Ravens to win the uh, – he said no one's picking the Ravens to win the division. Vegas doesn't. Unfortunately, Joseph, the Ravens are favorites to win the AFC North. Joseph also said that the Ravens aren't being picked for – the Super Bowl, it's going to be Joe Burrow, and the people are going with Joe Burrow. People are going with Patrick Mahomes. The Ravens currently have the third best odds to win the Super Bowl. The Cincinnati Bengals are seven. So I understand that he has to get clicks. I understand he's got to make his big debut on the show and everything, get clicks. He's just wrong. It's just the, factually he's wrong. He, he came out with points that Vegas wouldn't go against. Him. Vegas is going with the Ravens. He, he, Joel Embiid is injury ridden. We, we've seen so many different. As soon as I, I like how you say, Kevin, people try to make these NBA and NFL comparisons. It's two totally different sports. And yeah, uh, Joe, you're wrong. I'm sorry. Well, and you, we'll find out, obviously, what this happens. But we want to bring it up. And those are kind of those storylines right now. It's like, well, do we really care? No, but we just want to point out that, hey, look, the AFC is extremely competitive. Last thing, Zach, and we'll yeah, get our guests. Yeah, nothing to do with what's being talked about, but we brought up last night. The Ravens' first preseason game is in 15 days. Is that not ridiculous how fast this offseason has gone? It really has. In the blink of an eye, yeah. the Super Bowl was over. And, you know, for a lot of people that enjoyed the football season, there was this, you know, downtime. Mm -hmm. Then spring training took a little bit of time. And then baseball, and here we 